Max Easy Terrain 1.2 just hit the store, so uh, if you are a supporter or a customer, you can now go and uh, start downloading the new update. It's in the store for you to grab, so uh, go ahead and start downloading. And while you download, I will tell you about the highlights of this update. Uh, you now have more uh, teams. You now also have uh, low polar teams. You can select and use, like so. And surely you can uh, still use all the filters. And perhaps make one here where you can see all around you the po low polar stuff. In the center you can have a play area. So you can just try to dip switch back. Well, perhaps just reset to defaults. Let's do that. Like so. And then I will show you one of the major features of this new release. We can just try to perhaps go into the snow. The snow team. As you can see, this is how it normally looks. But uh, we now have some built-in brushes you can use, like erosion, mountains, and stuff like that. So just to give you an idea how, be how much better it will look when you use them, let's try to select one. And here you have all the built-in brushes you now have. You have different type of erosions, and uh, Iceland, and uh, shapes, and uh, like that. So let's try to use this uh, erosion brush like so, let's make it a bit larger and then watch what happens uh, with our mountain here when I start using this just make it faster it adds details to it as you can see it just looks so much better now just some small details that really makes a difference, you can see here how much better it looks. You can just try to undo it. Perhaps try another one, perhaps the mods. And just paint our er erosion directly into it, like so. Oops. Just check out how much better it looks. It will make a big difference to your mountains. Just like this. You don't really need to do much to get a way better look. And sure, you have a different time of erosions you can use. We can try this one. It's a bit uh, different. We can just undo all our changes here. Perhaps try another landscape. You have this one. This is a larger type of erosions. You can see here when I start to raise it makes uh, larger details on the mountains but uh, you can see how much better it looks I don't want the trees there we'll just remove some more and sure you can uh, combine the erosion so uh, we can have this erosion combined and perhaps lower the terrain with the er erosion like this to get some finer details combined with uh, the huge detail we have before, as you can see here, it just looks so much better. So you have a lot of different uh, brushes now you can use directly, like here, if we wanted to, to create a crater, this is Mars, so it has craters, you can just select the crater and start making craters. Let's just... Oh, we have it to go down. We want it to go up the crater, like so. So now it looks way more like Mars with craters and stuff. I'm sure you should uh, use different size craters. We can just make a huge one here. Like so, and some smaller ones right here. 
here. Yeah, it starts to look like uh, Mars now. So uh, it's pretty easy to uh, do stuff like this. You could even do one inside the crater. So we have a double crater. Could also use this as uh, to make a vulcan, or a vol volcano it's called. We can just try to, well, let's change uh, to another, perhaps a jungle team. Yeah, and try to make a volcan, volcano here. I will just make it flat, flat, up here, like so. And then we can make a small volcano up here. Just remove the trees. Dips, so we can see what we are doing. Perhaps also remove the grass. We don't want to mix a volcano with grass, so... Select our crater. And make it larger, perhaps like this. Yeah, that should do it. Let's try it. Oh, we should add added some speed to it. Like so. Does it look like a volcano? Well, I think it do. But let's improve it. You know you can use uh, your own textures here by just changing them, selecting your create a new time taster folder and it will set up everything for you. Or if you already made one, you can just select it. I have one here that have some lava in it. Just loading all the new textures like so. And let's try to paint some lava into this volcano. We go to do, 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 paint mode. And also just to show you also have all the new uh, Process here you can use when you paint the terrain. So um, I'll just make it. It's way too large. Oops. And so, and let's select the lava. Let me just paint like so. That don't look very good, but uh, we have some options down here. Uh, we could say we. No, let's switch back to the grass. No, we could take uh, this rock that looks like uh, volcano stuff and only paint on the slopes. So you can see here, now we only paint the slopes. So it's pretty fast to just uh, make a volcano like this. Perhaps we should try to make some lava come out of it. We can do that by sculpting, smoothing the, the terrain. We can smooth from here. No, oh, that was too large, I think. Let's make it a bit smaller. Like so. Yeah, that looks. Uh, that could. Uh, that could work. That could work. And then they, let's make some uh, lava come out of it. Do, do, do. Now we need to draw everywhere. Select our lava. Use. Uh, oops. We need to. Uh, paint it. We have some lava going out here. Like so. That looks pretty real. Pretty good. We could also just uh, to show you the other features you can uh, you can uh, uh, switch off uh, paint on slope and only paint above the water 
If I then uh, paint here, it only the places where there's no slope like this grass will get painted with the lava. You see that looks uh, pretty nice. Do, 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 do. So well, we have a volcano. I'm sure there are other types, uh, like we have. Uh, some uh, standard or uh, normal shapes you can use, like if you wanted to add a, a, a weird shaped Iceland, we could do so. Or a star Iceland. Just increase the speed. And here comes our star. Just get it up here. So, it, you can do some pretty nice stuff with the, these new brushes. I'm sure you can, uh, as always, use uh, make uh, use the path system to just draw a path from here to there, to this Iceland, and just select the texture, oh, which so just take the grass, create a pass. And we now have a pass from one Iceland to the other. Just to show you the size, you can uh, add the person here, so you know what kind of scale you have here. So, there were some of the major changes, and sure, there's been some UI changes to make it easier to find the planet mesh generator. I had some requests for that, so um, that's also blue app been added. So, and sure, you have uh, the option to combine everything, and uh, like you see, you can easily change your terrain to look way better than normal by just. Uh, Using the brushes, you can just try here. Just look how much better it looks. It looks real like a real mountain now. Yeah, that was what I wanted to show you. And sure, go and grab your free copy as a supporter or customer. And until next time. Have a great day.